Hello there. It's been quite stormy just recently across Europe. We've had half a metre of fresh snow over the last couple of days. We've also seen some very heavy rainfall across the Balkans and strong winds. That's been moving its way through Greece and Turkey as well. But the satellite picture is showing an improvement, as you can see quite clearly. So on Thursday, there'll be a good deal of dry weather through the Mediterranean, a weather front moving its way across the UK into the low countries and eventually towards Germany. Some sharper showers, some snow to higher ground continuing across Turkey, but an improving picture towards mainland Greece, the Balkans, and as I say, generally through the Mediterranean, out to the Western Mediterranean anyway. It's fine, it's quite, it's quite warm with it as well. Temperatures into the low 20s across parts of southern Spain. Now, there's that wet weather across the UK. That's going to drift its way east, and it's getting a little bit colder into Eastern Europe in comparison to what we have had in recent days. So this is the story on Friday. Our weather front will move its way out of France into Germany. Elsewhere, it stays relatively settled and our city forecast shows this as well. So once that rain eases in London, it's drying up but rather cloudy. Best of the sunshine for Madrid and Rome. But as I say, it's going to get noticeably colder in Moscow with temperatures falling below freezing and there could be some snow showers to come as well. Hello there. It's a quiet holiday period across North America at the moment. As you can see from the satellite picture, there are some cloud around that's moving its way through the central plains. But generally speaking, there's a good deal of dry weather in the forecast. And actually, to the east of that cloud, it's pretty mild for the time of year. I'll come back to that in just a moment. Some snow showers across the Rockies. That'll come as welcome news for those on a skiing break at the moment. And a bit of a nuisance weather front pushing in from the Pacific Northwest, which will spoil the story from time to time. So let's take a look at that in a little more detail. Brief lull in proceedings across parts of uh, British Columbia, as you can see. But there's the next system waiting in the wings. But a little bit of fair weather cloud. We'll see rain slipping out of California, down along perhaps towards Los Angeles as we go through the day as well. So um, the next couple of days shows a good deal of dry weather with the showers easing away in Los Angeles. Sunshine returning for Friday. Now across the East Coast, it's a different story. It's fine. There's a good deal of dry, sunny weather in the forecast. And with a southerly wind, temperatures are way above where they should be for this time of year. So a mild uh, Christmas day, and it looks as though that dry weather is set to continue. So in actual fact, on Thursday, a good deal of dry weather. Look at the temperatures in New York, up to 12 degrees on Friday. Hello there. Forecast for Mexico, Central America and the Caribbean all coming up shortly. First of all, though, let's start off with what's happening in South America. Three areas of cloud, shower cloud across the Amazon basin, a weather front pushing its way into northern Argentina and a front down to the southern tip of Chile. Yes, there'll be some snow with elevation here. The rain not particularly intense across northern Argentina, but there are some sharper showers through the Amazon basin, the brighter yellows and greens denoting the intensity of that rainfall. So across parts of Venezuela, Colombia, and also stretching its way uh, through much of central and eastern Brazil as well. But it's a drier story across Rio de Janeiro on Wednesday, a similar story for the next few days to come too. There's that rain into Buenos Aires, still 22 degrees, and the rain will ease away. So let's take a look at the city forecast for the next five days. You can see that improving picture across Rio de Janeiro. Some showers continuing into Buenos Aires, getting better into next week. Now, as for Mexico, a fine settled story over the next few days, temperatures into the uh, mid-20s, uh, down into parts of Central America, some sharper showers for Costa Rica and Panama, not really amounting to too much either. And the Caribbean is quite quiet too. So our city forecasts are going to illustrate this really quite nicely. We've got some rain easing away from Havana, sunshine returning, a few sharper showers on and off for San Jose. Hello then. Let's take a look at the weather forecast then for Africa before moving to the Middle East. And the satellite picture is showing some intense cloud forming across Madagascar and into Mozambique. I'll come back to that in just a moment. It's also showing this weather front moving across the Levant coast, just producing the risk of some showers as well uh, through North Egypt. Now, that's the story, but we are going to have to keep a close eye on Madagascar. There's a potential for a storm developing um, over the next couple of days. Some of that rain is heavy, as I say, into Mozambique and also into Tanzania too. 
Now, the city forecast shows, though, a good deal of dry weather across Cape Town with those showers easing away in recent days. Johannesburg and Nairobi will continue to see some showers on and off. Khartoum stays fine and sunny, and here we will keep some heat temperatures perhaps into the high 20s. Let's take a look at that area of low pressure that's been moving its way through the eastern Mediterranean. It can bring some heavy rain across the Levant, also some snow uh, to higher ground as it moves out of Turkey. And to the south, it's worth just pointing out that we could see a few showers developing really towards the end of Thursday into Friday, as you can see quite clearly. So that's the story through Thursday. Our city forecast, though, still shows a good deal of dry weather in the story. Hardly a cloud in the sky for both Riyadh and Kuwait. Take care. Hello there. Let's take a look at what's happening in South Asia at the moment. And if we start off with the satellite picture, it is uh, showing very little in the way of cloud cover at the moment. There's a good deal of dry, fine weather, a few showers developing through the course of the day. We've got fog that's stubborn uh, uh, up into the north, and that's producing some poor air quality as well. So as we go through Wednesday, there will be a few sharp showers moving their way through central and eastern parts of India towards Bangladesh. Uh, to the south of that, it's fine and settled with a few sharp showers into the afternoon along that Kerala coastline. Now, into uh, the north, it looks as though we'll continue to keep that cold air across Kazakhstan and Central Asia. South of that, it's fine, settled and sunny. There will be some warmth as well with temperatures into the mid-teens here. Now to Pakistan and northern India, there's that quiet weather, but don't forget the fog I also pointed out and a few sharp showers elsewhere, particularly across that Kerala coastline, particularly stretching towards northeastern states and so maybe one or two running towards uh, the Himalayas as well. So that's the story. Um, looking further ahead, very little in the way of change. It's fine, settled and sunny, pretty warm with it in Mumbai, with temperatures peaking at 31 degrees the high. But it does look as though we will see a little bit more fair weather cloud in Tashkent and those temperatures easing away. Hello there. As Storm Panforn made landfall across the southern Philippines on Tuesday, it's continuing to track its way westwards. Now, it weakened for a time, but as it moves across the South China Seas over this warmer waters, it's expected to re-intensify. It may well track towards Vietnam, perhaps over the next couple of days, or Hanan. We'll need to keep a close eye on that one. Now, north of that to Japan, there's some sharper showers here along the, with the Korean Peninsula as well. A fair amount of cloud generally across central China, but it's largely fine and dry. There's Pan Phuong, but you can see actually through Vietnam on Thursday, it's a dry, settled and sunny story. Now, the city forecast over the next few days shows a good deal of dry weather in Beijing, but it is going to turn colder after the weekend has passed a few showers into Osaka. Recent heat has eased a little in Australia, but it's set to build over the next few days. A few sharp showers, though, across that Queensland coast causing some issues. That's worth bearing in mind. Weather warnings have been issued, but the temperatures are on the rise. I'll come back to that in just a moment. As for New Zealand, fine, settled with just a few isolated showers. But as we head through the weekend, temperatures, particularly in the southeast corner, are expected to climb once again into the 40s. For some areas, a good 10 to 15 degrees above where they should be.